So the cicadas are back 17 years underground and they have emerged over huge parts of the eastern United States, billions of them. There are so many brood X cicadas around that people have started eating them. Normally we would judge anyone who would eat a winged insect, but in a moment like this, you got to keep an open mind. And we have. Brett Larson knows a lot about eating bugs. He's from Fox News Headlines. <laughs> He's going to walk us through a taste test of brood X cicadas. Brett, good to see you. Tucker, good to be here. Yeah, the, the Brood X kind of sounds like the rival gang at the at the high school quad, it, but it this uh, this is the group of cicadas that show up every 17 years. Last time we saw them was 2004. Uh, they are notable for that loud sound that they make. It's often heard when we go to press conferences throughout the Washington, D.C. area when we're hearing politicians, it's almost hard to hear them. 100 decibels is how loud that sound can get. Uh, it's interesting, the sound that you are hearing from the cicadas is actually the mating call of the male cicada to the female cicada to get the groove on so they can make the babies, drop them back down in the ground, and they'll pop out 17 years later. Um, they are edible, and Tucker, we got you some edibles uh, ready for you from the Rising Creek Bakery in Mount Morris, PA. Uh, they sent you quite a variety of delicious treats there. Uh, including cicadas. Now, we have to say this. The FDA has said if you have an allergy to shellfish, so shrimp or lobster, crawfish, things like that, if you have an allergy to those, don't eat the cicadas. You'll have an allergic reaction to the cicadas because they're actually in the same family, but they are otherwise safe to eat. As for your pets, it's okay for them to eat them in moderation if your dog goes out in the backyard and grabs them. So you, are you going to try one of these delicious cookies and, and let the I, world know I that they're be, uh... pretty tasty? I gotta be honest with you, Brett. My producers left these on my desk as I was writing my scripts, and I never looked carefully at baked goods, and I already ate one. And, and I can say, and I'm embarrassed to admit that, but it's actually true. I shouldn't have, but I did. They just look too good. And it was delicious, but they've asked me to eat one on TV just to reassure our viewers who are kind of on the fence about eating bugs, who are bug curious, as we say in the bug community. And I'm gonna eat it. There's a cicada right in the top. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you dip Honestly, it's delicious. Yeah, you dip I mean something that. in chocolate. It's not gonna be that bad. There, I, I've seen recipes popping up online from all the celebrity chefs. Toss them with a little sesame oil, throw a little chopped garlic in there. They're going to be amazing. Just don't get any different idea. You know, double check before you're eating other bugs, but just know that the cicadas are safe for now, and actually they're a good source of protein. So all in all, and as you're saying there, yeah. they're, they're not that bad. So maybe every 17 years we have some interesting edibles involving bugs. The only thing that kind of wrecks it for me is I know that Bill Gates approves. So, this is the last time I eaten cicadas. But for the record, but there's no I just microchips want you to in the know. cicadas. They've been in the ground for too long. <laughs> no. Yeah, we we don't we don't know that, Brett. Brett Larson, thanks so much. <laughs>